Now on Coast TV News. Rezone request the property up for debate right after the new year in Sussex County. One of the most dangerous days on the year on the road, what police want you to remember. Migrant crossings reach record levels, the warning from mayors of cities where they're arriving. Well, New Year's Eve looking pleasant here along the coast. I'll have your New Year's forecast coming up in just a few moments. This is Coast TV News at 6. Good evening, I'm Mallory Metzner. Welcome to Coast TV News at 6. AAA is sticking with its projection that more than 115 million people will travel over the Christmas and New Year's holidays. That's the second highest since 2000. This is a live look at the Bay Bridge right now, where you can see a lot of drivers on the roads. They're down in the distance there going both directions. Lots of lights as people are heading east and west. Remember, deadly crashes and drunk driving incidents usually spike on New Year's Eve. According to AAA, New Year's Day is actually one of the most dangerous days of the year. Maryland State Police says expect increased patrols and troopers throughout the state focusing on impaired, distracted, and aggressive driving. In Delaware, some recommendations from the Fenwick Island Police Department include using rideshare and taxi services, watch for pedestrians heading to bars and restaurants. The Dewey Beach Police Department also says they will have additional patrols this weekend looking for impaired drivers. As we take a live look outside into Ocean City to check on the weather, it was a bit breezy earlier today, and now our first alert meteorologist Alex C more joins us with the forecast for tonight. Good evening, Alex. Good evening. Yeah, it was a little bit breezy earlier today. Those winds, though, have since calmed down. And it's actually a pretty pleasant evening for this time of year. It is cool, but you kind of expect this. The end of December should be cool, but really not that bad for this time. You just need a light jacket. Dry tech camera at the Ember Center, mainly clear skies. Temp setting right around 45 degrees in Ocean City this evening. We're in the mid 40s all across Delmarva, with the exception of Ocean Pines, which has cooled down to about 39 degrees. We're going to be cooling into the 30s and low 30s overnight tonight so you probably do want to grab a jacket as you're heading out and about winds rather light not going to be an issue skies they are going to remain clear tomorrow looking gorgeous new year's eve temps climbing up into the upper 40s sunny skies all up and down the coastline and that great weather that is going to continue into the evening hours as you're heading out and about for those new year's eve celebrations temps in the 30s so you're going to want a jacket for tomorrow evening Thank you, Alex. And for more weather updates, make sure to pull out your phones and scan the QR code for our first alert weather app. You can download the app for free to get all the weather updates you need. New tonight, Sussex County Planning and Zoning will be starting the first week of the year with several public hearings. One of them is for land located here along Route 16 and northbound Coastal Highway. It's across from the Rookery South Course. According to the agenda, Ocean One Holdings LLC is looking to rezone about 65 acres from agricultural residential to a heavy commercial district. County docs show that the developer's plan is to build retail spaces and a convenience market with gas pumps. The meeting starts at 3 p.m. on January 3rd. And now we're taking a live look at the US-50 drawbridge in Ocean City, where next week the Maryland Department of Transportation State Highway Administration is continuing long-term repairs. Starting Wednesday, January 3rd, crews will work 24 hours a day. The eastbound side of the bridge will be closed. Two-way traffic will be maintained on the westbound side. Work is expected to be complete by March 2nd. The Delaware Emergency Management Agency says it is literally ringing in the new year with the sound of sirens. A test is scheduled for January 2nd at 10.45 a.m. This is to ensure that all of the agency's safety measures are on point and up to date. Tiny homes are back up for discussion in Lewis after the new year. The Housing Committee will meet on January 3rd to discuss small units like garage or basement apartments. Staying in Lewis, the Historical Preservation Architectural Review Commission is meeting after the new year, too. According to the agenda, there will be an update on replacing damaged historic district signs and on the endangered building list. This meeting is on January 4th at 6 p.m. As Texas rogue buses drop off migrants by the thousands, Democratic mayors in New York, Chicago and Denver are demanding bus operators coordinate arrivals under the threat of impound fines and even jail time. Steve Nanas breaks down these record level border crossings. 
December crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border reached a record monthly high, according to border authorities. Border agents encountered more than 225,000 migrants, overwhelming already stretched resources. This is unacceptable. Our city here in Eagle Pass, we've been getting slammed with two to 3,000 people a day. Bill four Since is- last year, Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott has bused more than 92,000 migrants to cities across the country, according to his office. Those cities include Chicago, New York, and Denver, all of which are led by Democratic mayors. Now, those mayors say enough is enough. For many uh, months, we were able to keep the visualization of this crisis from hitting our streets, but we have reached a breaking point. All of our cities have reached a point where we are either close to capacity or nearly out of room. We need more federal support uh, to be able to manage this amount of inflow. Uh, It will crush city budgets around the country. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is heading to Eagle Pass, Texas, along the southern border next week to meet with Customs and Border Protection, U.S. Border Patrol and local officials. And Mexican officials will travel to Washington, D.C. next month to discuss curbing the influx of migrants into the U.S. But lawmakers say Congress needs to get something done beforehand. We are going to have to deal with this and we cannot deal with it as Republicans or Democrats. We're going to have to deal with it as a Congress come together and find solutions and get something done. I'm Steve Nannis reporting. We have a lot more ahead tonight on Coast TV News at 6. Dribble into action with the Delmarva Sports Network. Stay tuned to watch these teams shoot and score. Ringing in 2024, the celebrations planned all along the coast. But first, New Year flu. Tell us how the holiday health alert is impacting your plans in our Coast TV poll. Coast TV News at 6 returns after this. DreamFest is back in Ocean City, Maryland for MLK Weekend. Join us for three soul-stirring shows at the Performing Arts Center January 12th through the 14th. Experience Who's Bad, the ultimate Michael Jackson experience. Marshall Karloff and the Purple Experience. Take six, 10-time Grammy and Dove Award winners. Secure your tickets at oceocean.com slash pack. Don't miss Ocean City's second annual Dream Fest, January 12th through the 14th. See you there. Your house is safe, clean, and dry from top to bottom. Or is it? Your crawl space can become damp, dark, and musty. An unhealthy situation. Braziers will safeguard your home from the bottom up with our crawl space encapsulation. We completely clean out and dry the space, seal the ground and walls, and install a dehumidifier to make sure it stays nice and dry. You'll love having safe, usable space, and your home will be healthier and more energy efficient, too. Call Braziers now for your free inspection. Your home will thank you. Sign up to grow your team at the 2024 Draper Media Job Fair, powered by Premier Staffing Solutions. Be a part of the best marketed and most successful job fair on Delmarva, according to past employers who participated. The Draper Media Job Fair is Saturday, February 24th from 10 to 2 in the Jason Building at Dell Tech in Georgetown. Meet over 1,000 applicants looking for work. For more info, go to WBOCEvents.com. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Legsercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Legsercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. This is Coast TV News at 6. 
The New Year holiday seems to always bring a lot of change in people, but one thing that seemingly always stays the same is the return of infectious diseases. Flu activity continued to rise in most parts of the country last week. According to the CDC's weekly influenza surveillance report, there was a 16 percent jump in positive tests. The CDC said 875 viruses were reported by public health labs, as well as six influenza-associated pediatric deaths. Deaths, bringing the 2023-2024 influenza season total to 20. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, would you change or cancel your New Year's plans because of the high flu rates? Let's take a look at the updated results from yesterday. Looking at the screen, 61% say they would continue with their plans. 30% would change their plans. 9% still not sure. If you haven't voted yet, you still can at CoastTVNews.com or on our mobile app. And speaking of health, the Division of Public Health is currently asking Delawareans for their input needed for the state health improvement plan. The division says it's seeking people's thoughts on health issues, vital conditions, and innovative solutions. The survey is open until January 3rd. Well, we're staying cool and dry through the New Year's holiday here along the coast. I'll time out our next chance of wet weather coming up just after the break. Hi, I'm Scott Cower from Solo Concepts. Today we're at Matt's Fish Camp in Lewis, Delaware. Come check us out. Matt's is a little seafood shack on Coastal Highway serving lunch and dinner daily. Featuring seafood classics, coastal comfort food, and chef-inspired nightly specials, along with a large selection of craft ales, cocktails, and our extensive wine list. Matt's is a perfect place to enjoy dinner with your family, happy hour with friends, or lunch in the lobster room. Matt's Fish Camp in Lewis, Delaware, open seven days a week, lunch and dinner. See you soon. Transitioning your loved one home after a hospital or rehab stay can be overwhelming. Insurance will only pay for a limited time in a rehab facility. You might need transportation to appointments, coordination of medical equipment, and help keeping your loved one on track with home exercises. In-home care is the answer to coordinating everything for healing faster in the home. Home Well Care Services offers compassionate, quality, in-home, short, or long-term care when you need it most. To learn more about home well care services, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Enjoy 10 songs in a row, brought to you by Pohanka Kier of Salisbury. Watch every Governor's Challenge game live this week, exclusively on the Delmarva Sports Network and the DSN app. All the high school hoops on every court, from tip-off to final buzzer to the nightly wrap-up show. Download the DSN app today. Get ready for a night of musical magic like never before. Witness the legend, the icon, the one and only Marshall Karloff and the Purple Experience. A Prince tribute band live in concert Saturday, January 13th during Dream Fest weekend at the Roland E. Powell Performing Arts Center. Experience the hit that defined a generation from Purple Rain to When Doves Cry. It's a journey through the soundtrack of your life. Don't miss your chance to see these iconics played live. Grab your tickets, your raspberry beret, and be a part of a night you'll never forget. Head to ococean.com slash pack for tickets. Coming up this week on the Delmarva Home Show. We've got a special episode for you. Maddie and I have toured so many beautiful, unique homes in 2023, and we thought what better way to end the year than recapping our favorites. We hope you'll join us and maybe see one of your favorite home tours on the big screen again too. Celebrate New Year's Eve with us. You can watch the Delmarva Home Show on Sundays at 11.30 a.m. on WBOC. Well, it's another quiet evening here along the coast as we take a live look out on our Orsted camera in West Ocean City. Skies mainly clear, winds are light, temps comfortable for this time of year. It is cool, but not anything too awful. 44 degrees in West Ocean City this evening. We're in the 40s across most of Delmarva. Few spots down into the upper 30s like Ocean Pines where you're currently down at about 38 degrees. It's 44 in Bethany Beach this evening. 44 in Rehoboth Beach. 43 in Lewis. 42 in Milton. 43 degrees currently in Delmar. The winds five miles per hour or less. Not a concern this evening. Not going to be a concern over the next 24 hours. Skies Pretty much clear. That's how they're going to remain throughout the overnight hours and throughout most of the daytime hours tomorrow. Not a whole lot going on across the mid-Atlantic. There is a cold front to our north. It's not going to make its way towards our area. We don't have to be concerned with it. So for the rest of this evening, dog walking forecast. I know it's dark outside, but on those nice lit streets, temps 
low to mid 40s no rain to speak of light winds a pretty good evening to spend some time outside if you can and then there we go our in-house future cast shows those great conditions continuing throughout the daytime hours of new year's eve these are just high thin clouds we're talking about a mainly sunny sky for the most part throughout the daytime hours tomorrow as temps climb up into the upper 40s and then tomorrow evening as everybody's heading out and about for those new year's eve celebrations temps in the 30s to close to 40 degrees there is a chance of a stray shower early monday morning I highly doubt most of us will see that, so not really a huge concern. New Year's Eve forecast, well, we're talking about those temps in the upper 30s throughout the evening hours, 8 p.m. midnight, 39 to 37 degrees, so it's going to be a slow fall, but still chilly enough where you want a jacket. And then as we head towards New Year's Day here along the coast, we're actually going to see our temps climb to about 50 degrees. Our next chance of wet weather, that's going to hold off until we head towards the middle to end of next week. Our Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling 10-day forecast shows chillier weather actually returning to the area before the rain does. We see rain next Thursday and then probably again at the end of next weekend. Thank you, Alex. We love decorating for the holidays and we love seeing your homes. Look how merry and bright this Christmas tree is. Ty Robertson of Magnolia sent us this photo. You can send your pictures and videos to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. We'll be right back. I've always wanted to work with the apps. This time around, we had the job of mentoring. I'm very proud to have you on my team. AGT Fantasy League, Monday on NBC and Peacock. This is a real court, no matter what Yelp says. Tuesday, spend the night. Strap in, baby. With family. I'm not in favor of lying. Lying is what parents need to do sometimes to build trust. Night Court and Extended Family, Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. Est-ce que vous connaissez visiter docteur régulièrement capable aider ou avec condition santé ou comme tension sick ça relie diabète là on capable prendre avantage des dépistages importants tant qu'au cancer capable assurer des détections et des traitements bonnes docteur primaire capable et d'orienter à jour avec tout vaccin ou yo c'est pour nous contrôler santé et empêcher maladie sérieuse yo avant yo commencer pas prendre trop de temps quitter community behavioral health et de rejoindre docteur famille et puis prendre première étape pour une plus bonne santé what do you do when your tire goes flat and there's no air anywhere? You reach for Bullseye Pro, the smarter, faster, hands-free way to fill it up with air. Bullseye Pro is equipped with a rechargeable power plant, smart pressure sensor, and custom nozzles. It's like the power of an air compressor in the palm of your hand. Get your complete Bullseye Pro inflation system for just $79.99 and get free shipping. Plus, we'll give you a 50% discount on a second one. Order now. Your wallet is always in danger. Criminals can hack your information without you even knowing. Introducing Slimmint, an ultra-thin RFID-blocking wallet that keeps your cards and cash protected. Slimmint uses the latest RFID-blocking technology to prevent thieves from stealing your info. It's ergonomically designed to optimize space and keep your belongings organized. With the auto-locking Slimmint, your cards and money stay securely in place. It has a built-in cash clip and a flexible outer band to fit your additional cards cards and cash. Call or click now and get Slim Mint for just $29.99. Order in the next five minutes and you'll get an instant $10 discount. So it's only $19.99. But wait, due to rising costs, this may be your last chance to get Slim Mint at this low price. There's a strict limit of three Slim Mint wallets while supplies last. Don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-613-4296. Call or visit SlimMintWallet.com. So call 1-800-613-4296 now. The countdown to 2024 is on and vibrant celebrations are planned all along the coast to usher in the new year. Some of the coolest things to do will take you into the icy ocean for various causes. The Overfalls Foundation isn't dropping the ball on its celebration in Lewis. In fact, an anchor will drop from the top of the light ship's mast. The festivities begin Sunday at 11.30 p.m. Dewey Beach is toasting the new year at midnight with a ball drop on New Orleans Street and Route 1. The fun starts at 11.30 p.m. New Year's Eve. Ocean City is shining bright into the new year with two fireworks displays planned when the clock strikes midnight. The big display will take place downtown on the beach near Dorchester Street. A smaller display can be viewed at Northside Park. The town says bus service is free on New Year's Eve. 
The ball is dropping twice this New Year's in Berlin. A celebration is planned on Main Street. There's a laser show, music, and cowbells for the kids' fun from 5 to 6 p.m. Dance the night away before another laser show at 11.15 p.m. The ball drops at 6 p.m. during the kids' event and again at midnight. If you're staying in for New Year's Eve, don't forget to tune into Coast TV for Sunday night football. It's the Green Bay Packers versus the Minnesota Vikings. Coverage starts at 7 p.m. If you want to get outside New Year's Day, set out on a hike. Maryland State Parks have ranger-led and self-guided trails. You can also explore Delaware State Parks through guided and self-guided first day hikes. Jump in the cold ocean city waters for a cause. Atlantic General Hospital's 30th annual penguin swim is set for the morning of January 1st on the beach at the Princess Royale Oceanfront Hotel. You can also splash into the new year at the 19th annual Fenwick Freeze at 10.30 a.m. or just buy a shirt to show your support for the Fenwick Island Beach Patrol. In Dewey Beach, dunk into the ocean at 11.30 a.m. The 11th annual event raises money for the Dewey Business Partnership. Organizers say costumes are encouraged. Work up a sweat by running through downtown Bethany Beach before plunging into the icy ocean there. The Quiet Resort's Charitable Foundation is hosting the Hair of the Dog 5K Run and One Mile Walk, as well as the Leo Brady Ocean Plunge. Organizers say they're giving money raised to service-focused students in four-year scholarships. The annual Ellendale New Year's Day Parade is scheduled to start at noon. The town says participants for the parade will be lining up in Ingram Village. The parade will go down North Old Street to Main Street where it will turn and head to the fire department. It's also the last weekend for Shellville and Winter Fest of Lights. Both events are open through New Year's Eve. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. City, Maryland for MLK Weekend. Join us for three soul-stirring shows at the Performing Arts Center January 12th through the 14th. Experience Who's Bad, the ultimate Michael Jackson experience. Marshall Karloff and the Purple Experience. Take Six, 10-time Grammy and Dove Award winners. Secure your tickets at oceocean.com slash pack. Don't miss Ocean City's second annual Dream Fest, January 12th through the 14th. See you there. In sports, some of the best teams in the nation battled it out on the hardwood today and tonight. Local teams will take the courts. The Delmarva Sports Network's Michelle Roberts takes us to the final day of the Governor's Challenge. On the final day of the Governor's Challenge at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center, an overtime thriller between two Maryland teams from across the bridge battling it out for bracket champion. Let's get to the highlights. Clinton Grace Eagles facing Archbishop Spalding Cavaliers with under six and a half minutes in the fourth quarter. Eagles down by three, but they lay it off the backboard and Doubter Treyer finishes it off to go within one. 
A few plays later, the Cavaliers swinging it around to Williamson who knocks down the three and the Cavs are up 53 to 50. With under three on the clock, Eagles down by one, but not for long. Treyer slams it down to put them ahead, but this one would have to be decided in overtime. Johnson driving the basket and gets the bucket for Clinton Grace. Then, with 90 seconds in OT, Barrett sails it in for the Cavs, tying the game. But in the end, Panda Massey hits it from downtown and gives the Eagles a 65-62 OT victory and the bracket title. The Eagles went 2-0 at the Governor's Challenge and are now 13-2 on the season. Leading scorer Treyer dropped 17 points after the game. The small forward explained how they took this tight matchup. Uh, it took us as a team effort for all of us going on. I know some of my teammates feel sick as well as me, but we came out second half. We, we put more energy out and we did our best and then we came out with the win. It was a really good game, especially because every time we go at each other, it's always a good competitive game and that's all you can ask for in a basketball game. And tune into the Delmarva Sports Network at 645 tonight for DeMatha taking on Salesianum in boys basketball. And then at 830, check out Decatur facing Dover. And if you want to check out any of the action at the Governor's Challenge, just download our free DSN app. Reporting from Salisbury, Maryland, I'm Michelle Roberts with the Delmarva Sports Network. Hey moms, you know those unforgettable face palms? Those moments that leave us both laughing and sighing. They're not just mishaps, they're our shared stories. Share your unique mom moments with us. Go to coastlife.com slash mom. Hi, I'm Maria. Your special day you've always dreamed of starts with us here at Sandals Bridal and Formal Wear. Providing an intimate, elegant, and comfortable boutique experience carrying all bridal styles with free appointments and VIP champagne treatment included. We cater to women and men of all sizes for any occasion. Unmatched quality with a wide range of budget and style. Let us make your dream come true. Sandals, bridal, and formal wear. Watch every Governor's Challenge game live this week exclusively on the Delmarva Sports Network and the DSN app. All the high school hoops on every court from tip-off to final buzzer to the nightly wrap-up show. Download the DSN app today. Imagine a knife taking this much abuse and didn't need sharpening. Introducing the incredible NutriBlade knives. They're coated with granite stone nonstick and made of stainless steel. One of the hardest substances on earth. Now everyone can chop, slice, and dice just like a pro. The Easy Grip rubberized handles deliver incredible control and accuracy to chop salads in seconds and cut frozen solid meat with ease and get razor thin slices every time. The nonstick surface means food slides right off and they're dishwasher safe. Plus, they'll stay razor sharp guaranteed. A complete set of chef knives can cost you hundreds, but today you can get this professional six-piece set of NutriBlades for just $29.95. Order right now and we'll even ship them to you free. Now get your own NutriBlade knives from Granite Stone, the last knives you'll ever buy. Call 1-800-645-8074 or go to buynutriblade.com. Come out for the Delmarva Shorebirds Hot Stove Banquet, Thursday, February 8th at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. Get your tickets today, which include a buffet-style dinner and your opportunity to meet former Orioles pitcher Ben McDonald. Plus, there will be a cash bar and silent auction with sports memorabilia from your favorite MLB and minor league teams. Proceeds benefit the Shorebirds Fly Together Fund. Tickets available now at theshorebirds.com. Welcome to the final score right here on the Delmarva Sports Network. Watch Delmarva's only live and local sports cast. Final score on DSN. What a win. So glad we were able to capture that here on the Delmarva Sports Network. Five days a week, the final score is bringing you live coverage of local sports teams and games. He shoots and he scores for the game winner. The final score, weeknights at 10.30 p.m. only on Delmarva Sports Network. It's a quiet evening here along the coast as we take a live look out on our dry tech camera at the Ember Center in Ocean City. Temp sitting right around 44 degrees. These cool, quiet conditions going to continue into the daytime hours tomorrow. Shopping forecast, maybe you've got some of that extra holiday cash. Temps climbing up into the upper 40s with lots of sunshine before those New Year's Eve celebrations. And we're going to continue with those nice conditions even as we head into New Year's Eve, into New Year's morning. Temps falling down to about 34 degrees, so you do want to grab a jacket. Stays chilly throughout much of the week ahead. 
Thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app and be sure to join us tonight at 11. Until then, have a great night.